How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. As you seen on my previous video there, I was asking you what you think I should do with that golf cart. Try to fix it or get rid of it. Well, I went to Princess Auto to get myself some grinding discs for the grinder because I'm out of them. Or not grinding discs, cutoff discs I should say. And I ended up buying $237 worth of different kind of steels. I was just going to use bed frames but I decided that I think I'm going to fix a frame and if I'm going to fix a frame I've got to use the right piece in the right place. So I bought myself a little arrangement. So when we get back to house, we're going to have to open up the chalkboard and keep track of how much we spend on this cart. Because now it went from a $200 cart, $437 cart over friggin' night. Oh, but I'm just going through Tim Hortons. I'm going to get myself a friggin' coffee. Eh? A little coffee action. Okay, we're back home here and we're going to open up one of my doors here and we're going to start a list on this golf cart. So we're gonna go TXT low ride cart. There you go. So we paid 200 for the cart, less friggin' $3, because I found $3 in the cart. So we're less $3 on that. So we're at 197 even. Then today we went out and we got some metal, and that took us up to 237. Actually, let's go 238. We'll just round it up to the nearest dollars. So there we go. So there's what we got into the cart so far. So now we just went over the $400 mark on this cart, which is okay. But I'll show you what I got. And you can tell me if it's gonna be okay. Fucking bees are brutal right now, big time. They're everywhere. So we got ourselves two four foot lengths of that U channel, which is gonna be for along the side rail, right here and up to here. So that's perfect for that and that. There we go. I'll tell you one thing, they're not giving metal away right now. Might as well just bend right over, Captain. Then we got ourselves two lengths of one by two for the frame down here to replace that part of it. So that's for down there. There we go. We got ourselves two lengths of, it's about one and a quarter actually, it's a little bigger, but one and a quarter square tubing for these joists right here. So we can re-support this here and there. So we're gonna cut that one out. We're gonna weld that one right beside it actually. And then we'll do the same on that side. And then uh, we might need one here, I don't know. But we got two and two will do one. So we have one extra. So there you go. And then we bought ourselves one strip of flat bar right there. And all this is for is I'm gonna weld it on here and on the other side just to support the cart when I cut this out so it doesn't move too much, eh? So we'll just weld that there. We should actually cross brace it. You should really go crisscross. I should have bought two. We could have went from there to there, but that's okay. We'll just do one for now. But that's what that's for. You will pick up another one of them tomorrow because I can't do nothing to this cart today because I ordered some cutoff discs, I ordered some sanding discs, and I ordered one of them rust uh, remover things, a thing. So I got them coming, so we're gonna have to wait for that. I don't wanna push on that too hard because it's gonna snap in half if I do. But let me tell you what, this is gonna add some serious strength to this cart again. We're gonna cut it on a V angle like that and then bend it. So it actually gets this right bend angle. That way it's still one piece at the bottom and then we just weld together and that'll give us one hell of a lot of strength. And she'll be friggin' mint. That will be mint, that will be mint, that will be mint. That's okay. You might reinforce that a little bit, but other than that, we're gonna fix this thing. It looks bad now, but you wait till I'm done. It's gonna be so all, all in big time. I can't wait to cut all this out actually. It's gonna be awesome to cut all that out, put all new stuff in there. Friggin' right it is. Decent. We're also gonna take these leaves out, take the rear end off. We're gonna cut these off, of course, and we're gonna make new ones that go to the rear end and come out, and then we're gonna get some air shocks that go from here. We're gonna lower this a little bit, but we're gonna put air shocks in here. We're gonna notch this so the motor don't hit it, and then uh, we can air ride this thing, and we can drop it right down to the friggin' wheel well skis, eh? And then, of course, we'll do the same in the front. So that's my plan so far. I'm a little premature on this video, so let me know if this is the way most of you want to see it go. A few air ride carts out there, but there's not too many showing her step by step and how long she takes. 
We got a tire that's not even on. Oh, okay, yeah, it's not. It's missing a couple lugs, there it is. Just a couple. But we're gonna get new rims and tires for this thing anyways. Let me know what kind of rims and tires you think we should get. Should we get moons? Because it's gonna be slammed, old school, steel rim, a little bit bigger, but old school, or should we go with like your nasty looking black? Or should we go with black and chrome, like black and polished aluminum? Leave me a comment down below, let me know what you think. I really gotta get this one eye off here because this is absolutely just driving me crazy. That thing looks just horrible. No rush. Can't rush a good thing. Oh, that's friggin' doodadded on there. Oh, it bolts up up there. Holy. Have an eye, Jim. But there we go. We got some metal to get rolling on this thing. And I got three bucks back from it today. So we're doing good. This thing is gonna be mint. Do you believe me? Probably not. Why would you? But it's a beautiful day out. And I think I might spend the rest of my day, I might cut up that box there from the old Model 310. Might go for a ride on the old blue golf cart here. Might sit on the front lawn there under the shade because it looks really nice out there right now. Maybe we'll take a ride down there and see what's going on too, I don't know. Oh, we got a frog. What are you doing, Mr. Froggy? Hey, what's the other going on, bud? Where's your sister? I guess it won't be your sister. It's probably more like your friend, eh? Friend, right, it would be. This is a short video on the updates. Let me know what you think so far and we'll come back to you on it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit notification. Love y'all. Until next time, you know what to do for now.